I heard an unusual thump at our front door. If it was a Sunday morning, I might have thought it was a tossed newspaper, but it was a Monday afternoon. When I opened the door and looked down, I realized what had happened. A poor bird had flown into our window. This had never happened before. I quickly found the number for a bird rescue service. They said to bring the bird inside the house and place it gently inside a shoebox. While waiting for them to arrive, I noticed a letter sitting atop a pile of papers on the dining room table. I didn't recognize it, wasn't sure where it had come from, and then I remembered. Over the weekend, Jason had been going through a box of childhood mementos. The letter was one he had written nearly 40 years ago. In his little boy handwriting, the note began, a bird was in our house. And last one for now, this. When Miles was born, my aunt gave me a silver link bracelet engraved with his name and birth date. I put it on and never took it off. Two decades passed. One summer afternoon, I was standing in the kitchen unpacking groceries. Miles was headed back to college soon, returning for his sophomore year. His specific departure and general growing up were both weighing heavy on my mind. Like a hand appearing out of nowhere and resting on my shoulder, my subconscious whispered, it's time to let him go. The heartbreaking and nearly audible message stopped me in my tracks. A split second later, I heard a clink. I looked down and saw my bracelet in a tiny heap on the counter. All these years, it had never once slipped off, so I was confused. I realized it did not slip off. The clasp had simply worn all the way down. This just happened to be the moment it let go. About these coincidences, the data and mathematicians are clear. Such things happen all the time. Then again, Einstein, pretty good at math, was also quite clear when he concluded, there are only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle. The other is as though everything is a miracle. I'm going with B, everything. Mm -hmm.